anything that falls out at any time. Down trees because the branches and the roots. 
know, they live for an extremely long time, up to thousands of years, and they store water to the cycle as possible. That's one of their edits came back to the help of the list of the whole They can access that water inside their structure and through the surroundings. Oh, this is a beautiful view of the entire Huron Bay Wildlife Reserve. This is the overlook of the Serengeti grassland. Like, the Serengeti grassland stretches for hundreds of miles across East Africa. It's home to a huge variety of animals. Lots of antelope, lions, zebras, elephants, and even giraffes live here. Oh, I didn't see the grass up ahead. I'll get closer in a minute. I kind of think that I feel over to our right side over there. Yeah. Hey, well,
star over there for you. Now, some of these take part in the largest annual migration in Africa. Hundreds of thousands of little wildebeest from our great business are getting grassland every year. A century grass life is a super highway for millions of migrant animals every year. It's a really important job is to preserve. Also, animals depend on the Serengeti grassland for their survival and that migration around. And it's a better view of the wildly than the sun right here. But there's also one more reticulated giraffe under the trees on our right. This is eating for the tree. The giraffe, the giraffe has what's called a prehensile tongue. That means they're able to grab things and pick things for their tongue like we do as a creature. Grass. Also on our right is a herd of antelope with those really long horns. Those are stable antelope. Okay. Now, their horns can grow to be long as about five points. And they'll see their horns to protect themselves from predators. Long, sharp horns, like the ones that we have, can be lethal against the predators. Safe? Yes. Yeah. Looks like we're in luck. I see an elephant up ahead. To our right side of the place there. Look past the bush so you can see it, Bessie. Solitary. Males prefer to be all alone, but the females are social, huh? so females will come together in a group for their adult females and the babies. And I'd love to see, but if you saw them keep walking out on the other side, those are mandrels. They're hiding in the bushes right now. What? Uh, mandrels are a social monkey that means they live together in each group, don't live alone. And a dominant male mandrel is going to have bright red and blue pelvic on his face on his back sign. That's the pelvic change the dominant male. Let's see if we can't get back to this elephant on our list. And both males and females have those ivory tusks. But with Asian accents, only the males have the tusks, not the females. So that's what's called the male or female is actually from their behavior. Yeah. Right down towards the red clay pit next. You can actually find a few more elephants over there. Right in the red clay pit lay a really good habitat for elephants. But they will sometimes eat clay along with some females. Now they do have to get the clay contains nutrients. They can't always get from just eating plants. But so that is actually a pretty important part of their diet. Always over this really old bridge to the red clay that's behind the velvet. I don't really trust this bridge. Everything I cross is so he can hold off. Hopefully it holds out long enough earlier this time. I better hold off just in case. Hold on, 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 hold on,
saw back at the largest verdict in the world. Right? We have all three challenges there. Okay. Yeah, there. Might be hiding somewhere today. She's been hiding in bushes somewhere. There are a few far from her. Right so she can see us even if we can't see her. They can actually call the ostriches male and female from the color of their feathers. Males are black with white wing tips and are now they're gray. So they're the light gray color. What? Let's look found a few antelopes coming up on our left side. These are our addicts. So it's spelled A B C A X B. Now they are the swift animal on the reserve. You're not going to see them on the animal side above your head just yet. And so they pretty close up to these addicts. Well, they're a desert dwelling antelope. They will go their entire life without drinking any water. Like they're able to get all the water they need from the food they love. These this also some really pretty birds to our right side. Those are called yellow billed storks. Those birds are actually carnivores and they eat meat. They will eat things like their straws and strings. The pretty ones, whatever they can fit inside their beak is what they'll eat. Blue. Question. These asks are a critically endangered species. Today there's only about 300 epics left in the wild. And only about a thousand left on protected reserves like this in Africa. So there are a lot of really simple things we can all do at home to help protect all the animals. Did you have fun seeing all the animals? Yeah. Oh, all right, good. I'm glad to hear that.